Eat my, Eat my dick. dick. Balls. Uh, but ice cream. What? He knows I'm lactose intolerant. He's taunting me. You know, to be honest, after watching this movie, I kind of do want to start playing tag with my friends. But was this movie actually good? Well, let's see. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Tag. I really do appreciate it. And guys, if you did not know already, the Tag is based on a true story or based on true events of a group of friends in Spokane, Washington. So while they was much younger, junior high, high school, they had become constantly playing the game of Tag up to about 30 years. And... Um, in the month of May, no matter where they are in the country, you know, from, you know, May 1st to May 31st, you know, the game is on and the last person is tagged in the month or whatever. They are the loser for an entire year. When I first saw the trailer for this movie, when I first heard about the premise, I was like, are you serious? Are they really making a movie about this? Does this really happen? I thought it was amazing. I mean, we had Jeremy Renner and uh, Ed Helms in this thing, uh, Hannibal Buress. Uh, Jake Johnson and uh, John Hamm all in this in the trailer. I was like, wow, this seems like a ton of fun. I cannot wait to see what this movie is all about. Um, it's been directed by Jeff Tomsick. I never heard of this gentleman before. When I looked at his filmography, he's done a number of TV movies, TV shows, and short films. And I believe this is his first uh, full-length feature. Uh, so congratulations, sir, uh, to uh, getting to that point. And there's another interesting fact that I, I found very interesting. It's kind of old news for everyone. I mean, people knew this when it was announced. But if you don't know, it's funny that we have Hawkeye in this movie, Jeremy Renner, that is running around with the Avengers, fighting aliens, Ultron, and things like that. And he's fine. But in a movie with Tag, he ends up breaking both his arms. Or to be exact, he he fractured his right elbow and left wrist while filming this. So, I, I mean, that's not funny at all. I'm not making any jokes. But at the same time, I was like, man, you did this while filming Tag. You know, but, you know, when... Um, you're doing the Avengers and things like that. You didn't hurt yourself. But, you know, I hope he did get a full uh, recovery. Um, but about the movie tag, did I actually like the movie? Well, I like parts. Um, when the guys are actually playing tag and running around tagging each other and trying to escape and, you know, ducking and dives and the things like that. I love that. That was freaking incredible. Uh, there was nothing about that that I did not like. It was a lot of fun. And at points, I was just like, man, I really wish I could jump in the screen and play tag, too. Like, it's just been so long since I played tag in real life that I really forgot how fun it was. So the film really did do a great job there of engaging you and wanting you to join in on the fun. And it had another interesting way of doing that is some characters that in the, are in this movie, they wanted to play, but they necessarily couldn't because they wasn't there from the very beginning. And that's just another way that made it very interesting to me. What I was not feeling at all in this film was the relationship between the characters in the first half of the film. When it started off and they're going around trying to uh, you know, gather the group together, gather the friends, the gang together, the whole thing just kind of just felt like watered down, uh, rushed, and just non-authentic. It just didn't seem real. It, it, it felt like actors on screen there just really want friends that were just kind of, you know, uh, going over a script that they memorized. I just did not care about the relationships. It just felt fake. It really just felt like that was forcing these real life events, trying to make it seem genuine. And it just didn't it just didn't work for me. Um, it just didn't work for me at all. Uh, but going back to where the parts that I did like, especially with Jeremy Renner, because he's a champion. Since he's the ch and this is in the trailers, I'm not spoiling anything. He has never been tagged before in 30 years. He's like a master ninja assassin samurai when it comes to playing tag. And when he's doing his tag things and tag like mannerism, the camera slows down and slow mo and swooping around the characters and he's narrating to himself. You know, I liked all of that. It was it was very, very creative and just another way to just, you know, suck you into the film, like I just said. But another element that I did not like is at the very beginning, you had this reporter for the Wall Street Journal and her her character was just put into the movie to explain to the audience what's really going on. Movies and have been doing that forever, but sometimes it flows smoothly and it's seamless. This part right here just kind of seemed on the nose. 
And um, it really, I, I don't even want to say much more about the film other than, you know, I liked them actually playing tag, but I did not care about the relationships and them getting together. A lot of it just kind of felt over exaggerated, especially one scene where they're at a golf course. I like to act silly and crazy, too, and do stupid stuff. But, you know, I'm not saying this was like jackass stupid, but it's just like it's like, guys, come on, man. I, I can tell you y'all are not really into this or whatever. Or I mean, this at least that's the way I took it. But. However, towards the very end of the film where things did get a bit serious, um, that's where I actually did start to care about the characters and their relationships and how they really felt by, around each other. It wasn't just some slapstick comedy where, ah, ah, let's go play tag, you're it, ah. It wasn't like that. I, I you know, I, I felt real emotion and it, it got serious too and brought the film up uh, a few notches Um because I was going to give it like a four or five, you know, originally, you know, uh, up until like the half point of the film. And the last game of tags they play in the movie, that was like the best part of the movie for me. It felt real. Um, you know, it did feel genuine and, uh, you know, pulled on my heartstrings a little bit to where, you know, if I had to rate tag out of a one out of 10, I would give it a seven out of 10. Yes, a seven out of 10. Uh, like I said, I was going to give it like a 4.5, five earlier, but the, the uh, latter latter half uh, uh, latter half of the film really did impress me and um, brought it up a few notches and also showed some real life footage of the real people um, that actually were playing this game for thirty years and um, you know I got a lot of respect for that you know um, I really do but guys that is just my opinion of the latest movie tag what did you think did you like it did you hate it did I turn you on did I turn you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know down in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel you can also look me up on social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and I made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below but guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for TAG. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.